And new at 10, state inspectors say the Mecklenburg County Jail is unsafe due to critically low staffing levels. They're now calling for the sheriff's office to take immediate action to depopulate the jail. Unsafe while under lockdown. A new report from the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services found conditions at the Mecklenburg County Jail are dangerous for both inmates and staffers. So my staff is tired. They're exhausted. Last month, Mecklenburg County Sheriff Gary McFadden told me he was already taking steps to get more staff in the jail. That included moving several juvenile offenders from outside the county to other facilities, which would allow his office to move several jailers from the juvenile jail to the main facility. On top of COVID and everything else that we're dealing with has put a strain on our staff and has put a strain on our residents commonly referred to as inmates. The state report says staffing shortages leave doubt as to whether the inmates can be safely evacuated from the facility in the event of an emergency. It also goes on to say that at one point, an injured staffer couldn't receive medical attention right away due to the shortages. Right now, there are about 1,400 inmates at the Mecklenburg County Jail. The state says that number needs to be less than 1,000. Sheriff McFadden says some inmates will be transferred to other facilities, and he's currently working with the U.S. Marshals Service, the District Attorney, and the Public Defender's Office. And in a statement released today, Sheriff McFadden said these are unprecedented times. Our staff has worked through the COVID-19 pandemic since the beginning of 2020. They are fatigued, coping with loss due to the virus or battling the virus themselves while still fulfilling their, fulfilling their duties. Well,